Not all wrenches are created equal. The difference in price can often be explained by the difference in manufacturing that went into making the wrench. One of the ways to make a wrench is by a process called punching. A punching press, much like a cookie cutter, is making wrench shaped cutouts from a flat sheet of metal. In uh, this piece here, these holes were punched, not drilled. It's much faster to punch out a shape than to drill. And uh, this wrench was made cheaply and inexpensively in a one step procedure. As a result, the wrench is not very strong and dimensionally not very accurate. You can see evidence of this punching by looking at mm, the sidewall of the wrench. You can see that it, it appears to have some kind of ridges on it running all the way around, some kind of ribs or and and the uh, and the edge is it has a little bit of a lip there and a little bit of a lip there when metal is punched part of the metal as it's being sheared part of the metal deforms plastically in front of a cutting blade these are the uh, from the waist side though when holes are punched this is what comes out and some of the metal fails uh, in, in brittle failure and it just breaks through the rest of the thickness. There you can see the differences there or similarities or, or the differences between a smooth part and a coarse textured part. You can see this. This one says 13 millimeters. You can see this punching manufacturing there inside those ones. These wrenches are not dimensionally accurate and they're not strong. So I don't know, this could be 13.1, 13.2 millimeters. I don't know, maybe it's only 12.95. Could be whatever. This one is a little better made. No, it's, this one is a lot better made. You see that all of the edges on the outside, it could be just ground off, but this was forged. Forged doesn't mean counterfeit. Forge, uh, forging is a metallurgical or a manufacturing process and it was made by a forging hammer in a forging die. At the jaw of it there is no coarse part and, and uh, smooth part. Everything is equally smooth with a couple of small surface dimples on it throughout okay so there's no two layered thing about it this wrench was first punched but it was just rough punched to size and then it was broached you can find YouTube videos or, or any kind of videos on the internet about broaching and how that one is done so this wrench costs a lot more than this one punched forged and broached and finally two champions here these were cast look at this sand casting it's so coarse and rough that you can see the sand casting pattern in it now that's not a problem in and of itself but it's so bad that you can't even read anything on it you can see that the uh, open end here was also cast. Let me just get the camera to focus. Maybe here. There we go. The open end was also cast. There is no evidence of broaching whatsoever because that would produce a series of vertical uh, skid marks or machining marks, vertical machining marks. It is just lumpy and not uniform and absolutely not accurate dimensionally whatsoever. In an emergency, sure it would probably help you out, but uh, I don't know if those jaws are even parallel. I don't think so. 
So that's how it looks like after very, very coarse sand casting. Extremely low quality. I don't know if it's, this end is even hexagonal. This one's made a little better. There, it says drop forge. Yeah, anybody can print those ones on it. Uh, this one seems to be broached for the quarter inch open end size. You can see vertical marks on it. This one's a little better made. So, there is gradations of quality and what you get is what you pay for.